Have you ever wondered how a seemingly successful business empire can crumble in a short span of time? The tale of Anil Ambani's Reliance Group might have the answer. Anil Ambani, once counted among the richest businessmen in the world, rose to prominence through the success of the Reliance Group. This wasn't a simple journey though, it was a saga of ambition, innovation, and strategic expansion. The Reliance Group didn't confine itself to one sector. It ventured into diverse arenas, telecommunications, energy, infrastructure, and entertainment, among others. Its rapid expansion was a testament to Ambani's vision and relentless drive. He was a titan of industry, a figure synonymous with the economic prowess of a rising India. However, as we all know, success isn't always a permanent state. So, while the Reliance Group's rise was meteoric, its descent was equally swift and shocking. But the question remains, how did such a successful group of companies fail in such a short span of time? The fall of the Reliance Group was as dramatic as its rise. A series of events unfolded, chipping away at the foundation of this once formidable business empire, leading to its ultimate decline. A major contributing factor was the governance failures within the organization. A lack of transparency and accountability, coupled with questionable decision-making, began to erode trust and confidence, both internally and externally. The leadership's inability to effectively manage risk further fueled the fire. Let's take a closer look. The group's aggressive expansion strategy led to a significant accumulation of debt. This was exacerbated by the global financial crisis of the late 2000s, which led to a tightening of credit markets worldwide. The group found itself in a precarious situation, unable to service its debt obligations, and started defaulting on its loans. Legal troubles soon followed. The company was embroiled in a series of controversies and lawsuits, which included allegations of corruption, fraud, and regulatory violations. These legal issues not only drained the company's resources, but also tarnished its reputation, making it difficult for the group to attract new investments or partners. Poor business decisions were another nail in the coffin. The group ventured into sectors without adequate understanding or expertise. This lack of strategic foresight led to failed ventures and huge financial losses, further straining the group's already precarious financial situation. The downfall of the Reliance Group was not an isolated event. It had a ripple effect, sending shockwaves through the Indian economy. As one of the largest conglomerates, its failure impacted numerous stakeholders, from employees and investors to vendors and lenders. It also dampened investor sentiment towards Indian businesses, causing foreign direct investments to slow down. The downfall serves as a stark reminder of the importance of good governance, effective risk management, and strategic decision-making in the business world. The downfall of the Reliance Group not only impacted the company, but also had a ripple effect on the Indian economy. The downfall of the Reliance Group is a stark reminder of the importance of good governance and risk management. One of the key lessons to be learned from the downfall of the Reliance Group is the critical need for sound corporate governance. Governance isn't just about ticking boxes or complying with regulations, it's about creating an environment where transparency, accountability and integrity are at the heart of all decision-making processes. Without this foundation, businesses can quickly find themselves in a precarious situation, as was the case with the Reliance Group. Another important takeaway is the crucial role of risk management. The ability to identify, assess and manage potential risks is a fundamental aspect of any successful business strategy. The Reliance Group's downfall highlights the dangers of ignoring or underestimating risks, particularly those associated with debt management. The Reliance Group's heavy reliance on debt financing without adequate risk mitigations in place eventually led to their downfall. This underpins the importance of financial discipline and the need for companies to maintain a healthy balance between debt and equity. It's a reminder that while debt can fuel growth, it can also lead to financial ruin if not properly managed. Furthermore, the incident underscores the importance of diversification as a risk management strategy. The Reliance Group's heavy investment in the telecommunications sector without a proportionate spread across other sectors increased their vulnerability to sector-specific risks. 
Diversification across different sectors and markets can help companies cushion the blow of unexpected adversities and maintain a steady growth trajectory. Lastly, the Reliance Group's downfall highlights the importance of adaptability in business. In a rapidly evolving market landscape, businesses that fail to innovate and adapt can quickly find themselves outpaced by competitors. The Reliance Group's inability to keep up with changing market dynamics and consumer preferences contributed significantly to their decline. The story of the Reliance Group serves as a cautionary tale for businesses around the world. With the downfall of the Reliance Group, what does the future hold for the company? As we stand today, the Reliance Group is in the midst of a challenging period. The company, once a pinnacle of Indian business, now grapples with financial instability and significant debt. However, every cloud has a silver lining. The company is actively working towards a recovery strategy, focusing on restructuring its debts and improving its governance. The Reliance Group is also seeking to sell off non-core assets to generate much-needed capital. These funds will be used to pay off debts and invest in their core businesses, a strategic move to streamline their operations. The future outlook, while uncertain, isn't entirely bleak. The company is making concerted efforts to regain its footing. However, the path to recovery is a long one and fraught with challenges. This journey will test the company's resilience, decision-making, and ability to learn from past mistakes. The future of the Reliance Group hangs in the balance, but its story serves as a stark reminder of the perils of poor governance and risk management. In conclusion, the rise and fall of the Reliance Group is a tale of ambition, growth, mismanagement, and downfall. Anil Ambani's ascent to the top echelons of global business was meteoric, fueled by the rapid expansion of the Reliance Group. However, this growth was not sustained. Mismanagement, poor governance and a lack of risk management resulted in the group's precipitous downfall. The collapse of the Reliance Group reverberated throughout the Indian economy, underscoring the interdependence of large corporations and national economies. This incident served as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of poor corporate governance and risk management. From this saga, we can glean valuable lessons. For executives and business enthusiasts alike, the Reliance Group's story highlights the importance of prudence in decision-making, the need for stringent governance structures, and the critical role of risk management in maintaining business stability. Looking ahead, the future of the Reliance Group remains uncertain. Yet, it serves as a potent reminder of the potential pitfalls that await businesses that neglect the fundamentals of good corporate governance and risk management. The story of Anil Ambani's Reliance Group is not just about one company's downfall. It's a lesson for all businesses on the importance of sound governance, risk management and financial discipline.